there's often a very intense and authentically inquisitive discussion amongst younger saxophonists and their erstwhile professors, teachers, mentors regarding equipment, gear, you know, equipment, gear is really overrated. I'm here to tell you that. Anything that you buy which advertised itself as a silver bullet shortcut to something like 1,000% more power, 2,000% darker, 3,000% bright as a sunrise in the Sahara sound, things like that, you need to be careful with that because yeah, it's possible to create a product that gives you a lot of one thing, but that's what you want to avoid. You want to have a product that allows you to use your own physiology and your inner ear and your concept to create the sound you're looking for. I like to believe that I could take any equipment at this point and within about an hour I'll more or less sound just the same way as I do now on my own equipment. And the reason is simply that I've avoided these kinds of gimmicky equipment quests. I always believed that I would have my best chance at developing a good sound if I played a metal auto link mouthpiece. Why did I decide that? Simply because every single player I admired, at least at some point in their career, and usually at the point in their career where I had adored their sound and articulation the most, was playing a metal auto link. So I took it upon myself to find vintage metal auto links, and I've gone through many over the course of my development and recording career. The metal auto link I'm playing now, I've been using since, let's say, 2010, which actually makes it the longest running, the longest uh, consecutive use mouthpiece that I've ever used in my life. I've had other metal auto links that I use for a year or two years. And one thing that I can say about all of them is that at the time they were the best thing I could find. And yet, when I found something better, I never went back to those mouthpieces. I've never returned to my ex-girlfriends or my ex-wives. Good thing about mouthpieces and reeds, these are inanimate objects. You don't have to feel sorry for them. You don't have to be attached to them. They're just there for you to express yourself. So gear, the saxophone almost doesn't matter at all. Your mouthpiece and reed, that matters a tremendous amount. Look, if you, do, if you have a reed that doesn't function, you can't play anyway. So first of all, you've got to find a decent reed. I've always preferred the reeds made by Diodario now, the reeds formerly made by Rico, or formerly known as Rico Select Jazz, now they're Diodario Select Jazz. I play a three medium, nice and easy and a metal auto link, uh, hard to know exactly what it is. It's between a seven and a seven star, I'd guess. And as with any piece of equipment or any mouthpiece, you are looking for something that gives you the ability to play with brightness and mellowness, to play in all registers, to play subtone, to play loud, to play altissimo. And yet we know that we're always going to give up something to get more of everything. So, with that in mind, don't look for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Look for something that gives you the best possible options. And now there's an all-terrain vehicle passing me and it was very dangerous.